All right, guys, so now we're ready to deploy, and this is going to be a pretty simple deployment. We're going to use Heroku. Uh, before we get into that, though, there's a few things we need to do. So one thing is if we go into client and then we go into source and app.js. So when we created our Apollo client here, we're, we're sending our request to localhost 5000 slash GraphQL. Now, our development environment is different from production. We, we're not going to have two separate servers in development. We're not going to have localhost 3000, 5000. It's all going to be one. We're going to we're going to compile our React application into the public folder on the server and deploy that. So this needs to be just slash GraphQL. Okay, so if I save that, um, you know, that's what we want. But if we were to run our local stuff now, it wouldn't work because it would look at localhost 3000 slash GraphQL, which isn't a thing. 5000 is our server. So to fix that, we just go to our package.json in our client. Okay, make sure you're in your client, your React app. And then we just want to add a proxy. Okay, so proxy. And we want to set that to HTTP localhost 5000. Okay, so then it will automatically know to look at 5000 and just restart your server if you're running it. All right, now that's one. Now we want to go into our server.js and do a couple things. So one thing I'm going to do is bring in the path module, which is just a core Node.js module. We don't have to install it or anything. It's just to work with file paths. And then down here underneath the slash GraphQL route, we want to set a static folder. Okay, so to do that, we can do app dot use and we can say express dot static and we'll say that we want public to be our static folder. And then we need to make it so that whenever any route except this slash GraphQL is hit, it's going to just redirect to React's index HTML page, which will be in the public folder. Okay, no, you don't see a public folder here yet because we haven't built out our, our React application, but there will be. So let's say app.get. And we want to put an asterisk in here and then Let's say request response. And what we want to do is say res dot send file. Okay, we want to we're just loading a file here, the index HTML, but we need to get to it. So we're going to use path dot resolve. Okay, and in path dot resolve, we're going to put double underscore dir name. So from the current directory, we want to go into public. And then we want to run index.html. Okay, so that's what's going to happen when we hit any route. And make sure that this is below the GraphQL route. And that's it. We'll go ahead and save this. Okay, make sure you have this for your port, process ENV port, uh, and then pass it in here. Make sure that's all correct. And yeah, we should be good. So now, if we look in client package.json, we have a build script, right? You guys have probably used this before we do npm run build and it creates a folder called build in our client folder that's not what we want we want it to go into our server into a folder called public and there's a lot of ways you could do this you could even um, create a post build script off on your server so that when you upload to Heroku it builds it there but we're not going to do that we're going to keep this simple so we're going to add on to this and say we want to also move the build folder to up a level to public. Okay, so it'll create a public folder in our server instead of a build folder on the client. So we'll save that and let's CD into our client folder. Okay, make sure you're in client and let's do npm run build. As you can see, it's going to create it. It's going to move it to public folder on our server. And there it is. So we have public. All right, good. So now we're ready to deploy. So you need to create an account at heroku.com. Once you do log in, you'll see something like this and your apps will be laid out here when you have some. Um, and you also need to download the CLI. So if we go to, let's say, Heroku CLI, First link here. 
We'll click that. And then if you're on Mac, you can use the installer or homebrew windows. You have your installers and then uh, Ubuntu, some other methods. Just get that installed. Uh, once you have it, you'll be able to just do Heroku and you should see all the commands and stuff. Okay, so first thing you want to do uh, and make sure you're out of your client in your server. Okay, so if you do an LS, you should see server JS. Okay, so from here we want to do Heroku login. It's going to ask you for your credentials. Okay, so once you're logged in, you just want to run Heroku create. And what it'll do is it'll create your app and it's going to give you some weird ass name like Warm Cliffs. <laughs> Yours will be completely different, but it should be dot Heroku app dot com. Now, if I go back to my interface, my my dashboard and reload, I'm going to see that. So here it is Warm Cliffs. So if I click on that, I want to go to deploy and you want to grab this link right here. You basically want to add this as your remote repository. Okay, so that you can push to it. So we'll grab that and let's go back and clear this up and paste that in. Okay, so that gets added as a remote repository. Now we want to put we want to push to it. But before you push to it, make sure that everything is up to date. Okay, you want to do git add all and do your git commit. Uh, we'll just do M. And put your comment in here and you can put you know whatever you want we'll just say um, finished react I don't know it doesn't matter and commit everything okay so now everything is up to date if I do a git status everything's up to date so now we just want to let me clear this up first we want to do git push to Heroku to the master branch Hopefully that goes okay. Should be quick because it's a very small application. And Heroku is great. It's it's really easy to um, to host node apps at Heroku. It's, it's it's easier than using something like DigitalOcean where you have to set up you know something like Nginx and deal with your ports and all that stuff. Uh, so, okay, so that was deployed so we can visit this URL. You can even just do Heroku open and that will open your browser. And there we go. So we're now deployed. So let's go to launch details. Okay, so the, we know the react router is working. And that's it. There's not much to test. It's a very small app, but it is in fact deployed. And if you wanted to add a domain to this, you could go to settings, go down to Um, right here domains and say add domain put your domain in and then it'll give you instructions actually right here is the instructions to point your DNS to Heroku so you can just go through this if you wanted to add a domain all right but I'm not going to obviously I'm not going to do that and you have to add a credit card they won't charge you but you have to add a credit card to add a domain All right, guys, so I, I really hope you enjoyed this project. I know we didn't touch on everything like we didn't touch on mutations and stuff, um, but the idea is just to give you, you know, give you an idea of how everything is is put together as far as, you know, creating the server, um, you know, installing Apollo and creating your client, your provider, your queries, all that stuff and displaying it. All right, so thanks for watching, guys. If you like this series, please leave it a like, and I will see you next time.